Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And uh, this is where we left off. The rainbow was glowing brighter than ever before. And there's the uh, end of the first forest, path to Yggdrasil. We've kind of, we kind of know this already. And so I guess the game is just telling us that's where we have to go next. But we already knew that. And we kind of already found, well, we know what, what path it is we have to go to. Yeah, last time we finally resolved everything with Crystal Linda once and for all, got the last blue orb. Although you see there, the game is saying that we can't use the zoom feature. That is because there will be a cutscene to trigger somewhere in this city as we try to leave the city. That's typically what tends to happen when it says there's a mysterious power preventing you from zooming. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, we've wrapped up our business with Crystalinda, fixed Sniffleheim, everybody's happy. As usual, Luminary fixed the city's problems. That's, that's what it typically is with the Dragon Quest games. You get to a town, you fix their problems, they're happy, then they give you whatever plot device you need to be on your way. What are you doing, loitering by the docks, Eric? Oh, we just started this business? video. I'm not in the mood so, for you, Veronica. Did you get the orb or what? We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. Uh, you can thank me later. You? You didn't do squat. You're the one that wanted to keep the real one in the book to begin oh, with, so you weren't tricked again. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. We already know who that is. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrik. You've already you fought with him, Serena. Than himself, do you? Come on, same pendant. You know there's two well, royal knights from Heliodor that have been hunting, been hunting us. A tree of life to be getting to. One is Hendrik. You know the other one's Jasper. Uh, this isn't a mystery. It shouldn't be a mystery. I mean, maybe to Rab and Jade, but not to everyone else. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Yggdrasil! Now, this scene... I'm gonna let most of it speak for itself. Where did that even come from? And that's that Puff Puff girl. Oh! Uh, Crivens! <laughs> how, how, how did that get there? Ooh! Is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? I thought you said it was a spell book. Well, it put a Another spell on one him. To add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <gasps> Sir Rab, you have been caught red-handed and red-faced. And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Wait! You don't understand! I only read them for the articles! For the articles? That's what they all say. That is what they all say. The articles, I tell ye! Oh, give it a rest. You've lost. You're, you're, stop digging your hole. Now that that little cutscene's out of the way, we get the accolade, because we fixed the... we fixed everything. And now we can finally zoom again. And so, but before we go scaling up the, uh, wherever it is we're going, uh, let's go and turn in some mini metals. Wait a minute. Post commentary me is just remembering I turn in these mini metals and I get something. I don't remember what that something is, and I don't think I even 
check out what it is in my inventory. Well, I guess I'll have to pay attention this time. Alright, so let's go turn in the mini metals that we've been collecting. He's gonna give us the stamp of approval. Oh, it's an agility gala. Oh, no, we do we do you do this. Okay, I remember now. Yes, we have 45 exactly on the dot. Perfect. And this completes uh, this entire page, so now we have another page of mini medals to collect. On Ridge 50, a uh, Gloom Bolero. Don't know what that is, but sure, we'll get rewarded with it eventually. Uh, but now to check out the thing we just got, it is a... It's some sort of coat jacket thing. Okay, Jace can't wear it. Can, uh, can Jade wear it? Jade can wear it. Lowers her defense by like one point here, and charm I don't really care about, but really increases agility. I see that it's blue, and I get, you know, looking at the video post commentary, I can't, I can't make out all the numbers here. Because they are kind of blurred, given the the size of the video I'm watching from in my editor. Uh, that lowers his magical might too much. I'm not willing to do that for agility, no. He needs magical might. Uh, Serena, no, he can't. That increases Eric's everything. The only problem is I'm not using Eric right now. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Jade. Yeah, it's one point of defense lower. I doubt she's going to die because of it. And I would like her just being fast. Alright. And with that out of the way... We can head back to the campsite at the Snare Fet. And then we will head... Uh, to the new area and it's gonna be at that arborean heights where where it looked like we could go to but what well, we could go to before down by that dragon and we just decided not to go there or i decided not to go there because i knew the game would send us there eventually and guess what the game is sending us there now oh there was something i wanted to take care of i mentioned this in the last episode uh, i'm gonna reforge the uh, Falcon Blade, since we're using this a lot. Yeah, we've only got three. So let's go with a Sizzly Puff. Yeah, we'll try this thing again. I'm not comfortable trying it again. Oh, gosh. Uh, next strike is doubled, so let's double edge there. Oh, that top one. We'll just do some lightning bashes here. And eh, maybe a regular bash will be good there. Next strike is halved. So let's do another lightning bash. On there. Hey, we got a uh, perfect spot on there. Okay, uh, let's end here. And I'm hoping this will be a plus three, but it's not quite that good. Uh, but good enough to get us a plus two, so there we go. That's all we're going to do for forging now. That's all we're going to do for forging for for quite a while, actually. I mean, the post-commentary me, uh, past gameplay me is up. Well, it's not really past gameplay me. It's post I don't even know which version of me it is anymore. 
Uh, as of the recording of this, I'm actually still like several parts ahead of this. I'm going to say like four or five parts um, beyond this point, and I don't think we do any forging. I'm not going to spoil anything else, though. Ah, uh, the dragon. This dragon. It's not... It's not doing anything. There's a sleeping thing there. Is that a new enemy? It's actually not a new enemy. It's the Otter Shambles. I thought it was a new enemy. That's why I was, uh... You know, messing with it. Well, we can handle him easily enough. That was weak. I love fighters. Love the fighter class in the Dragon Class series. Always been one of my... Hello. One of my favorites. I don't need you. There we go. Can't run very well on ice. I think that's the way. Yeah, that's the way we have to go. We'll just avoid all these guys. Let's get to new area, new content. This is what this is what we came here for. All right, the path. To Arborea. Oh my goodness. And we have. Oh, remember earlier when I said there was an enemy with uh, this graphic with a certain name? Well, that's the name they have now. The name is Whirly Girly. Oh, that name. It just, it drives me crazy. Of course, every time I see it, every time I say it in my head, I say it just like that, so it annoys me. I annoy myself with it. That is how bad it is. Uh, so I feel like they're going to be super dangerous. Well, I can't de-tornado the tornado with a tornado. Okay. But I can put them on ice. Ouch. Wait a minute, did they just get double attacks? They did. Those rotten exoskeletons are getting double attacks. Okay, they're the true menace here. So I'm gonna have to start going after the uh, exoskeletons first. Instead of the whirly girlies. Uh. Ouch. Can you be dead yet, please? go. I like the Cyclops just walking around in the background there. Uh, yeah, I should probably heal up a little bit more, just to be safe. Okay, are there treasures, sparkle spots, anything of note over here? We'll fight a cyclone. I think we've fought one of these before. Oh gosh. This is everything I don't need. We gotta go after the, uh, yeah, we know who to go after first that rotten exoskeleton. And we can lightning staff to finish him off, hopefully. Yeah, there we go.
And let's see if we can just whack this guy. Or not. I mean, we don't have to. This is just a suggestion. Oh, Serena's got another turn. You got nothing better to do, Serena. This is getting obnoxious. Rab, why don't you take a whack at it? And this is why I don't use the death spell. <laughs> Alright, get rid of the whirly girly. So that's four times. Supposedly it has like a 50% chance of working. I... Okay, at this point I'm just gonna give up on this. I thought it was his weakness because, you know, we got it to work on him before. Or am I just not remembering this correctly? I don't know, but now we need a lot of healing. No, we're just we're just gonna go with attack magic. There we go. That's a lot of experience. I'm not complaining. I'm also not too worried about, uh, hey, 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 I'm not too worried about, um, our MP getting low either. I mean, we have plenty of passive regeneration on, uh, Rab and Serena. Ooh, a right armor exoskeleton. Okay, let's do that. But I also know we have that town coming up. We have... No, we do not have the ability that's, uh... I think it's called a can opener or something. That does, uh, heavy damage to metallic or machinery type enemies. It's on my priority list for Jade. Especially if these things are going to be doing, uh, double attacks on us. No, oh, hi there, Jade. And we can ride in it. Hooray! Oh, well, I was not trying to get into a battle. Oh, this does not look good. Okay. I think we need to use some group attacks here. Let's try swoosh. That eh, wasn't bad. I want to kill things without them getting turns, so yeah, that's why I opted to go for that one, because I didn't know if Rab was going to get a turn before these guys uh, started slaughtering us. Okay, I guess that wasn't so bad. guess they don't even have any MP to drain. And I was going to go back and see if there was an area back there that we could do anything with. No, no. They won't let us take the right armor back there. Fine, fine. Just looking around. I see that whole area over there. Uh, there is a treasure or two hidden along this uh, mountainside. I should be coming up here pretty sh shortly. Ah, there's a sparkle spot. If you come up this way. Butterfly wing, okay. And then we come down here and we're back on our main path. 
And you see we have the path that goes up around that bend. That is the path of progress. So we're going to want to go up here. And hey look, a treasure. Oh, a mini metal. I will gladly take all of the mini metals. So that's number 46, so four more and we can go back to the mini metal place. And I guess the game isn't going to uh, force us to disband in the uh, ride armor in order to progress, but we're at the city now. Arborea. Uh, and I'm kind of debating... This doesn't look like a big city, and it's really not. I'm kind of debating on if I want to trigger cutscenes or just end off the video here. And if you're looking at the video time, you can tell uh, I opted for the cutscenes. I still like to have at least 25 minutes in these RPG videos. If we go over the 30 minute mark, which we are going to have a couple episodes that do that coming up here. But, uh. Who would have thought a place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail? Yeah, I aim for 25 to 30. Breathtaking. I mean, could you imagine if I did, like, 10-minute parts, 10 to 15 minutes? Uh, this this video would be, like, two to three videos. All of them would be. This this entire playthrough would, like, triple in length. Home of the Keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. And of Veronica and I. Yeah, that's right. You two are from Arborea. But it's good to be back. I was wondering when we would the get to their the hometown. Appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. Oh well, yeah, the we first forest. In Arborea before we head Don't get there. it confused with, you know, Everyone the second be forest. So pleased when they find out the luminary has come to visit. Yes, it will be nice to have a town where we're appreciated for being the luminary, instead of called a dark spawn. or have to help them with their city's problems. We're not going to have any uh, city's problems here. Oh, great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends, and another begins. O oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Well, well, our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Well, we didn't want to interrupt. Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not... Taller when last we met? Well, uh, it's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. Hi there. The I'm the luminary. Can it really be? Oh, what a blessed day this is! Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. I am Benedictus 
High Priest of Arboria. Benedictus, <laughs> really? Life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. And we're planning on stopping him. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest, and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. I wonder if this is going to be like an actual power that we get, or if it's just going to be like some little key item that doesn't really give us a combat battle boost. And it's just a plot item. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me. I'm guessing this phrase here is just kind of because we could have come here sooner um, and probably triggered all this these cutscenes that we've seen here. And uh, yeah, we already have the six orbs. But there was nothing stopping us coming here before we had the six orbs. But if you go and talk to Mr... Benediction Benedictus, uh, you won't be able to progress through to the uh, path towards Yggdrasil if you don't have the six orbs.